Samsung. Yeah. They announced uh, new SSDs, not really consumer SSDs. No, they're, these are enterprise parts. But I think even consumers would be interested when they hear that there's a four terabyte, two and a half inch drive. Yeah, option. seven millimeter stick even. Like the thin, so the thin two and a half the inch. The thin style two yeah, and a yeah. half inch, right? Uh, basically, if you've seen any Samsung SSD recently, even like 840 series and up, like it's this enclosure. It's the seven millimeter enclosure. They all have the same size these days. Um now, a few weeks back, Samsung released uh, two terabyte models of the 850 Pro and the 850 Evo. Right. Yep. Right. So that was a thing, right? That was like, hey, we haven't seen two terabytes kind of squeezed in this for consumer. Mm -hmm. Right. There were enterprise parts that did that. Um, I haven't seen a four terabyte enterprise SSD that was that thin. Like, I just haven't seen one. Usually they have folded over PCBs. Oh, right, right, and, right. And each yeah. PCB has, a, you know, uh, flash packages on both sides and they're doing everything they can to just squeeze as much flash, you know, as many packages as they can in there to get higher capacities. And um, when we looked at the two terabyte 850 Evo that they just launched, we noticed, wow, they're just stacking more dies within the packages. And they're just like, there's still not that many packages. Like there's enough room for them to like double this and they could do a four terabyte. That's what, that was my thoughts just two weeks ago. Right. Sure enough, there it is, right? This is a, uh, now the model numbers are kind of funky with, uh, with Samsung. Um, yeah. On the enterprise side, SM863 versus PM863. Yes. And I still don't know what the S or the P actually. I would say S is, well, S is not single. No, it's, it's not. not single it doesn't level. even it's convert. multi-level cell. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. convert with SLC, MLC, any of that. No, it has nothing to do with any of that. It's just like the S is kind of like their, their higher grade and the P is kind of like their, their lower grade, if gotcha. you will. Right. Um, but the SM863 it's going to be the equivalent of like an 850 Pro, okay, which is MLC, right? Uh, same kind of flash. So they're putting the VNAND in enterprise SSDs, which is another like, you know, this is newer for them, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the, the, the new style VNAND, the 32 layer stuff that they have in the 850 series, that's going to be in these. So that's the first time we've seen that come into enterprise parts. Um, so that's SM863, which goes all the way up to two terabytes, which you could kind of expect that line just matches the 850 Pro right now. Okay. Right, they all match. Cost per gig is a little bit higher. Um, you know, they're they're tuned differently. They're not tuned for consumer workload. They're tuned for stuff like hitting them with 4K random access all day long. You know, for the whole life. That's a firmware tuning. Right? It's firmware tuning. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, the controller is probably identical. Like the actual hardware of the controller, same kind of controller. You know, same kind of flash memory. Just you know, basically just some secret sauce in there in hmm. the in in the the firmware tuning. Um, the 860, the PM863 is a little bit different from the 850 Evo, right? Okay. It's, it's still TLC, it's VNAND, okay, all that stuff's the same, except the capacities go all the way up to 3.84 terabytes, which is a lot of terabytes for a very small SSD. It's almost four terabytes, uh, depending on your math. It's a $2,200 part. Yes. Which is a lot of money. It is, but it's still, only, it's still less than 60 cents a gig for an enterprise part, mm -hmm. which is designed to just beat the crap out of 24 seven. Um, if you had stupid amounts of money, could a consumer, would a consumer buy this and, and could they use it in their system? If they yeah, really there's, there's nothing, there's nothing stopping you. I mean, it, it and the might, fact that it's tuned differently won't really affect anything. You might see. So the way the firmware tuning kind of works back and forth is uh, a consumer part might give you a little bit better random write performance, but it can only do it for a relatively small amount of writes. Mm -hmm. Then it runs out of steam, right? Because it's only, optimized and you, know, you can only, uh, you know, it's a give and take, right? You can only get so much out of that until you hit some kind of a brick wall. Okay. Um, the enterprise parts will initially random write slower, but they will do so at the same rate, just like all the way across. Yeah. It just for forever, basically. Gotcha. Right. They'll, they'll still vary a little bit. Like if, if it's brand new they're they always go faster than when they're used a little bit, but yeah, it's just tuned to be just more consistent. Right. Um, so nothing would stop a person from buying one or several of these and putting them in a raid on a motherboard or if you yeah. want to go really crazy, it, it'll work, right? Um, the the other uh, really impressive thing about this release was uh, just their ratings, their endurance ratings. So the warranty periods are shorter on these. Um, the 850 Pro is like a 10-year warranty. 850 Evo is a five-year warranty. These parts, that comes down to a five-year and a three-year warranty. Okay. Uh, so... But then again, you know, these kinds of things wouldn't stay in the rack for 
more than three years typically. Well, like they would maybe. have been upgraded yeah. to the next thing or cycled sure. out. Um, but for those warranty periods, uh, the TLC version, the four terabyte TLC version can write 5,600 terabytes. So that's five, over five petabytes. 5.6 petabytes of, of data. writing. Of writing. Okay. Uh, which is a lot uh, was of this? petabytes. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of gigabytes. But it, it's higher on the other model. It's even higher. Um, the, so even though the, uh, the MLC model, right, which you can't get in a four terabyte capacity, it's in only up to two terabytes, right? Which you would think would cut that endurance in half, but no, it's MLC versus right. TLC. So you get higher endurance. Yep. Uh, so even though it's half the capacity, it's uh, 12, over 12 um, petabytes total. <laughs> So over 12,000 So 12 terabytes. petabytes is how many iterations of that drive? It's like, uh, that works out to around four full, like fill it four full times per day. For the entirety of yeah. its warranty period? Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Fill it four times, fill a two terabyte SSD four times a day. I mean, yeah. is that something that an enterprise... Well, environment might it, actually do. It, they might actually, if they have just a crazy workload. Yeah. That, you know, yeah. but it'd have to be, it'd have to be awfully sequential to do that to these. Usually they don't write at the full speed at 4K random. Yep. And if it's doing like online transaction stuff, it's not going to be writing all the time. It's going to be reading some, you know, things like that. But it, it, those are things that you have to consider if you're designing some kind of a system, you know, that's going to have these in it. But it's just impressive numbers, right? It's just like, wow, that's, that's just a lot. I don't. Um, I wouldn't say it's quite consumer ready yet, but hey, you know. Again, yes. I'm still waiting for the. What did I say? Ten cents. You want. You want ten. I cents want ten cents per gig. So that would make a four terabyte drive like four hundred bucks. Yeah. Well, I mean, any of these things. Right? Like, I, I think even someone commented on this. You know, oh, I'm not going to be happy until I see something. You know, some low number. Uh huh. But any of these things that come out, right now, there's enterprise SSDs launching at less than a dollar a gig. Mm hmm. Like that used to be several dollars a gig, right? So yeah. every time you see another thing come out that undercuts the other guys by the next little bit, it just you, yeah, so everything is going to push down. You still don't think we'll see ten cents by middle of next year, huh? Middle of next, I don't think we're going to hit. 10. Oh yeah, we will. On a on a on a consumer drive. on a thumb drive, maybe. No consumer consumer <laughs> drive. Oh yeah, we'll be there for sure. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, I'm hopeful, just like you are.